Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to go through the process of creating a new board. Remember that a board is one of the organizing principles of Trello, along with a card and a list. So to start creating a new board, we're going to click this link on your dashboard. And we're going to give this board a name. Now the default setting is for the board to be private. That means that individuals outside of those use invite will not be able to see the board. So we're going to leave the default and we're going to click create. And one of the first levels of customization that we can actually engage in is to change the background. And we can use specific colors or we can use photos. In this particular case, we're going to actually use a color. We will now go to the more settings. And then we'll go into the board settings. Now, one of the levels of customization that we have, we can choose to have card covers displaying images. We can disable or we can enable. Now, the rest of these permissions actually are relevant only if we have a team. And we'll be talking about that in another video. So we're going to go back outside of the settings. If you recall, labels are board specific. So we can actually create new labels for our new board. So once you've created labels for this particular board, if you are going to create them, you can then go back to the board menu. Now collections are another level of organization. You can actually place boards together that are alike in some way. Now, this is going to be part of an upgraded Trello account. So for this case, we're actually going to skip adding this board to a particular collection. We can choose to watch the activity on this board by email, and we can do that by clicking the watch button. That'll give us, that'll give us emails of all of the activities. And then we can actually copy this board into another or export the content. Now, if we want to give someone access to the board, they need to already have been added as a team member. And if they have, we can actually give them the link to this board or you can use it as a way to provide convenient access to it. Now, because we are using the free account, we can determine which power up we're actually going to use. In this particular case, we're going to use the custom fields board and enable it. And remember, if we want to enable a second board, we are going to have to have a business class account. However, we can safely use one power up on our board with the free account. So we can now go back to the board menu and we've now completed our board setup. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.